How to start an A-flat workout. There are so many benefits for working out your abs, including better posture, balance, coordination, and self-confidence. It might seem impossible to start an ab workout if you've got next to no ab strength, but just a few minutes a day can make a big difference. Targeting your abs. Start with butterfly crunches. This is a simple yet effective move that targets the rectus abdominis, the six-pack area, and is great for beginners. Lie on your back with the soles of your feet together as close to your body as possible, with knees bent out to sides. Place your hands beside your ears to keep yourself from yanking on your neck. Keeping your back flat on the floor and stomach muscles contracted, exhale and curl your chest up a few inches off the floor toward your legs. Lower to start position. Repeat 10 times. Lie on your back with the soles of your feet together as close to your body as possible, with knees bent out to sides. Place your hands beside your ears to keep yourself from yanking on your neck. Keeping your back flat on the floor and stomach muscles contracted, exhale and curl your chest up a few inches off the floor toward your legs. Lower to start position. Repeat 10 times. Work towards a six-pack with the abdominal hold. This move can look a little wonky but it really targets your rectus abdominis. Sit tall on the edge of a sturdy chair and place your hands on the edge with your fingers pointing towards your knees. Lift your knees in towards your chest to work your abs, tightening your core muscles. Hold this position as long as you can, aiming for 5 to 10 seconds. Lower yourself down and repeat 10 times. Sit tall on the edge of a sturdy chair and place your hands on the edge with your fingers pointing towards your knees. Lift your knees in towards your chest to work your abs, tightening your core muscles. Hold this position as long as you can, aiming for 5 to 10 seconds. Lower yourself down and repeat 10 times. Challenge yourself with a side crunch. Side crunches look a lot easier than they are. They test your balance and work your oblique muscles. Kneel on the floor and lean all the way over to your right side, placing your right palm on the floor. Contract your abdominal muscles as you straighten your torso to create a straight diagonal line from your right knee to your right shoulder. Hold that position on your right side, keeping your right hip from dropping down towards the floor. Keeping your weight balanced, slowly extend your left leg and point your toes. Place your left hand behind your head, pointing your elbow toward the ceiling. Next, slowly lift your left leg. Lower to your starting position. Repeat doing two sets of 10 to 15 reps, then switch sides. Kneel on the floor and lean all the way over to your right side, placing your right palm on the floor. Contract your abdominal muscles as you straighten your torso to create a straight diagonal line from your right knee to your right shoulder. Hold that position on your right side, keeping your right hip from dropping down towards the floor. Keeping your weight balanced, slowly extend your left leg and point your toes. Place your left hand behind your head, pointing your elbow toward the ceiling. Next, slowly lift your left leg, lower to your starting position. Repeat doing two sets of 10 to 15 reps, then switch sides. Try scissors. Scissors will quickly get your abs burning with just one move. Lie on your back with your hands at your sides or underneath your glutes for more back support. Keeping your abdominals tight, lift your stretched out legs as high as you can so that the bottoms of your feet are facing the ceiling. Next, lower one leg slowly towards the floor before hovering it just above the ground. Then, bring both legs together again in the original raised position. Lower the other leg towards the floor before raising both your legs back up. Repeat this alternating leg motion 10 to 15 times for each leg. For a variation on this motion, raise your legs one higher than the other while they remain parallel yet lifted off the floor. The closer your heels are to the floor for this exercise, the harder it will be. This exercise taxes the hip flexors. If you find your back hurts, lower your legs less and follow the exercise with a hip flexor stretch, such as a standing front thigh stretch. Do up to two sets. Lie on your back with your hands at your sides or underneath your glutes for more back support. Keeping your abdominals tight, lift your stretched out legs as high as you can so that the bottoms of your feet are facing the ceiling. Next, lower one leg slowly towards the floor before hovering it just above the ground. Then, bring both legs together again in the original raised position. Lower the other leg towards the floor before raising both your legs back up. Repeat this alternating leg motion 10 to 15 times for each leg. For a variation on this motion, raise your legs one higher than the other while they remain parallel yet lifted off the floor. The closer your heels are to the floor for this exercise, the harder it will be. This exercise taxes the hip flexors. If you find your back hurts, lower your legs less and follow the exercise with a hip flexor stretch, such as a standing front thigh stretch. Do up to two sets. Do the bicycle exercise. Bicycles will engage your obliques for a great workout in no time. Lie on your back with your fingers cupped at either ear. 
Lift your feet off the floor, keeping your shins parallel with the floor. You will maintain this raised position throughout the exercise, keeping your abdominals tight. Raise your left knee and raise it to towards right shoulder. Return to start, then raise your right knee and reach it to your left shoulder. Alternate for 15 reps in a smooth, continuous motion, keeping abs engaged and hands relaxed so you don't pull on your neck. Work up to two sets. Hold a front plank, similar to the side crunch. The front plank looks deceptively easy. This move targets your transverse abdominals and will have your muscles shaking in seconds. Start on your hands and knees. Keeping your back and ab muscles contracted, drop down to your forearms while extending legs out behind you so you are resting on the balls of your feet. Be sure to keep your back straight, hips up, and neck relaxed. Start with a 10-second hold, working up to a 60-second hold as you become stronger. Repeat 2-3 to three times. Start on your hands and knees. Keeping your back and ab muscles contracted, drop down to your forearms while extending legs out behind you so you are resting on the balls of your feet. Be sure to keep your back straight, hips up, and neck relaxed. Start with a 10-second hold, working up to a 60-second hold as you become stronger. Repeat 2-3 to three times. Perform the windshield wiper exercise. Windshield wipers are a simple move with a big payoff for your obliques. Lie on your back with your arms out to the sides, legs and feet pointing up. Exhale and draw your navel in towards your spine as you lower your legs to the left side in a controlled motion about 5 inches from the floor. Lift back to the center with a controlled motion. Return to start and repeat on the right side. Keep switching sides for a total of 15 reps. Work up to 3 sets. Avoid arching your lower back as you move from side to side. Lie on your back with your arms out to the sides, legs and feet pointing up. Exhale and draw your navel in towards your spine as you lower your legs to the left side in a controlled motion about 5 inches from the floor. Lift back to the center with a controlled motion. Return to start and repeat on the right side. Keep switching sides for a total of 15 reps. Work up to 3 sets. Avoid arching your lower back as you move from side to side. Climb up. This climb up move is a twist on the classic lying down crunch that targets the rectus abdominis or six pack muscles. Start by lying on the floor with a 3 foot long scarf or towel wrapped around the ball of your right foot, knees bent, left foot on the floor. Hold the scarf in both hands, and extend your right leg, keeping your foot flexed. Slowly walk your hands up the scarf, flexing your abdominal muscles, as you lift your head and shoulders off the floor. Hold for a count of two. Now lower yourself back to the starting position, walking your hands back down the scarf. Do two sets of 8 to 10 reps on each side. Remember to keep your head neutral. Don't tuck your chin or tilt it back. Start by lying on the floor with a 3-foot long scarf or towel wrapped around the ball of your right foot, knees bent, left foot on the floor, hold the scarf in both hands, and extend your right leg, keeping your foot flexed, slowly walk your hands up the scarf, flexing your abdominal muscles, as you lift your head and shoulders off the floor. Hold for a count of 2, now lower yourself back to the starting position, walking your hands back down the scarf, do 2 sets of 8 to 10 reps on each side. Remember to keep your head neutral. Don't tuck your chin or tilt it back. Ramp up your climb up exercise. Fingers to toes works your rectus abdominis without even moving that much. Lie on your back with your legs straight and pointed toward the ceiling, with arms down by your side. Exhale and contract your abs as you tighten your core, lifting your head and shoulders off the floor. Keep your back flat on the floor. Work up to two sets of 15 reps. Lie on your back with your legs straight and pointed toward the ceiling, with arms down by your side. Exhale and contract your abs as you tighten your core, lifting your head and shoulders off the floor. Keep your back flat on the floor. Work up to two sets of 15 reps. 